and here is the, the clutch basket removed and dismantled so you have outer and inner clutch discs these are the frictional plates or friction plates you remove the them and then you expose the clutch plates itself you need to make sure or make note of the orientation because they are directional and i will remove the the friction plates and you will see what i mean by that and for the mechatronic unit you will need to there, there is a repair kit for this one you need to change all the parts which are included in the kit so the electronic parts two solenoids i guess or three few rubber gaskets other gaskets as well then you can reinstall the whole valve body or the mechatronic unit so the parts are here as you can see this is the inner clutch the small one this is the outer the friction plates and the whole repair set okay the valve body is disassembled so i disassembled what needed to be the electrical wiring as you can see and i guess i found where the problem was because this here the that piece you see that rubber thing it's missing from here and the, the cables are somewhat broken as well so it had intermittent issue anyways we tested the the solenoids these the old ones and also tested the new one for reference and then they are 5.5 ohms or 5.2 ohms and the old ones as well so they should be fine but even though they are fine we are replacing them because it came in the kit so we removed the two solenoids from here one from here and there are a couple balls one the small ones were t20 and the big ones i think t30 and here are the filters so put the filters back on first and the solenoids this one as well and as you can see these rubber i don't know what they are things they came in a different amount in the kit so basically the solenoids get a new rubber cap which is here these two go to the solenoids these go to the other solenoids here which in pre which previously they didn't have and the rest is going on this one and that one as well so i assemble everything back together and show you how it looks like and what's the difference from from this point now the solenoids are replaced the two ones the two solenoids and this one as well and as i said the caps are different the new ones you see these green things on them this is different and previously these ones didn't have those green rubber thingies now they are included in the kit so i put them on and the last thing is to replace that electrical wiring which is here in the kit so once i replace them uh put back everything put back everything together i'm carrying on with the with the clutch so the valve body or the mechatronic unit is ready to go back to the gearbox it is assembled back together everything connectors connected so now i can carry on with the clutch so here is the clutch basket i removed the two top uh, friction plates from the clutch and as you can see it is directional so this is the k1 the inner clutch and the k2 the outer clutch and if it does make any sense you see those fins or clutch material they are pointing that way and uh, the outers are pointing the other way so i just made it's not the most accurate technical drawing but it makes sense for me so the inner is spinning that way and the outer is spinning the other way around so that you should make note of it and remove all of them and uh, it goes like one clutch plate one friction plate one clutch plate one friction plate yeah. A thing on the bottom is a friction it starts with a friction plate clutch plate friction plate clutch clutch plate friction plate clutch plate and also don't forget to to loop them in the transmission oil which you're supposed to have because you must have had both a transmission refill kit or transmission oil change kit 
so the new ones i think they are not lubed i'll check them but i think they are not lubed so you need to loop these ones and uh, the friction blades as well into the transmission oil you can clean the clutch basket and then assemble them back together so loop them in transmission oil everything the the friction plate and the clutch plate as well and as i said make sure of the orientation because this is wrong the fins are pointing towards that direction so it goes this way and repeat this process with the inner outer clutch packs or the friction and clutch plates and then you can assemble back the clutch basket together so the clutch is assembled back together it here is the the seal so now you can put back the clutch first back to the gearbox obviously clean it a tiny bit and then the mechatronic unit can be put back to the gearbox put back the oil pan and it can go back to the car